All amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to Code Pipe. This is the last video in our playlist where we were trying to make an e-commerce website using Django from scratch and finally hosting it. In the last video, we saw how we can put our static files on AWS bucket. In this video, we will finally see how we can host our site on cPanel. One last thing before we go to our cPanel, we need to prepare our requirements.txt file. If we check our requirements, we don't have much, but if we see pip freeze, we see that there are lot of dependencies. So what I will do is I will say pip freeze greater than requirements.txt. It will copy all of this pip items into requirements.txt. If I press enter, you can see that our requirements file is changed and now it has all the dependencies. Now we have our requirements set. We can move on to hosting. There are a number of hosting platforms available online, but according to me, in my experience, Namecheap is the best. It is fairly cheap and it is easy to use. But if you like, you can choose some other platform. What made me choose Namecheap is on other platforms, we do not have the option to set up Python applications. On the Namecheap, I found it and I found it easy to use. So that's why I'm using Namecheap. On this website, first of all, we need to get a domain and get shared hosting. I'm afraid I cannot show it online because I already have an account. But if we go to this domains, we can get our domain with cheap price. And if we go to hosting and shared hosting, there are different plans. Let's change the currency to Indian rupees. And we can see that hosting is quite cheap. And along with this, there are some plans on which we can get free domains. So we can choose according to our preference and we can purchase. Let me log in and show you the dashboard. So this is how the dashboard will look like. Once you buy the domain, you will need to verify it. You will get a mail to verify it. After that, you will also get one SSL certificate. That is the security certificate that will be automatically installed. And then you will get a dashboard like this. So this is our domain. It will show us expiration. Now we don't have to do much here. We just need to go to cPanel. For that, there are two ways. One, you can go to hosting list here. It will show you the plan and it will show the main domain here. You can click on this to go to cPanel or you can use the domain slash cPanel to go to your cPanel directly. This username and password you might have got in your mail. And if we log in, this will be our cPanel dashboard. And as I was saying, Namecheap provides us with the option of setting up Python app, which other platforms does not provide. Now to host our website, there are two ways. Either you can use the Git version control inside this cPanel where you can make a copy of your Git repository or you can provide a zip file in your file manager. You can use any of the method, but let me go with the method where I will provide the zip file into our file manager. The first step is to make a zip of our folder where we have all our files. So if we go back and make a zip of it while making the zip, if you are using WinRAR, make sure you are using this zip option and let's make a zip. It will take a moment. After this is done, we will go to our cPanel file manager. If we open our file manager, this is how our file manager dashboard will look like. So here I will use upload, select a file. Here I will use the zip file, open it. It will start uploading. One thing to keep in mind here is we should not go back when it is blue. After coming on 100, it will be blue for a while like this. We should wait until it turns green like this. It should be green. Now we can go back here. We should have our zip file at the last like this. Now we can extract this in the home repository. I will say area 51 demo extract files. It is done. And if we reload this, we can see we have our folder here. And inside this, we have another folder and we have all the files. So what we will do is we will rename this to some different name. Let's say demo one rename. And now we will move it on our home directory. Move to home directory. If we check our home, now we should get demo one. Now we can delete this demo. We don't need it. Let's rename this again to demo. Rename. Now we have our folder in our home directory with all the files. Now in our cPanel, we go to set up Python app. Here I already have these two applications. So 
so let me destroy it for now so that i can put our demo into this so first step is we click on create application we choose our python version we can select any version we are working with so i'll go with 3.8 then we need to give application root so here i will say area 51 underscore demo in application url it will give you the default domain keep it like that and you don't need to put anything else so we can say create it will take a moment it says python application created now if we scroll down we have this configuration files in this i will add requirements.txt i will add this and from here i can run pip install so if i click on this it will install all the dependencies in our requirements.txt it will again take a moment after the dependencies are installed we can also check if our application or url is working if we click on this open it should give us something like this it works and the python version this means that we have successfully set up our python application on cpanel now let's go to file manager go to the directory and here we will find one file that is passenger wsgi.py we will need to edit this so if i edit this edit we can comment all of this code and here we can write from area 51.wsgi import application what we are doing here is in our file manager if we see we have this folder area 51 or the core folder inside this we have this wsgi and if we see this we have application is equal to get wsgi application so we are trying to get this into our passenger file so let's close this save our passenger file close this in our python application page we will restart this and now if we try to open we should get our website like this so this is how we can host our django application on cpanel Again, these are some icons that are missing. So we can go to our AWS bucket and update our course policy that we have seen in the previous video. So let's quickly do it. In our AWS console, if we go to our bucket, if we go to permissions, if we scroll down to course policy, which is this one, if we add it, in place of this local host, I will paste codepipe.com, which is our domain. If we save this, it is successfully saved. If we reload our website, we should get our icons. But again, in our bucket, in our policy, we need to remove the final slash. So it should be up to .com. The slash should not be there. So finally, we have hosted our website on cPanel. Now anyone that is on internet can see our website. Before concluding the video, let me remind you again, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell to not miss out any videos. We have made our UI using Adobe XD. We have made our front end using HTML CSS. We made our back end using Django. And finally, now we are hosting this on cPanel. I hope I was able to provide some information and my videos were useful and helpful to you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked watching my videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, push the notification bell. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then, this is Somvir, taking your leave, adios.